IA firms weigh in on the effect of coronavirus on the independent adjusting industry, Matterport demand skyrockets, and finally, heavy tornado activity across the Midwest. I'm Matthew Allen, and this is Adjuster TV News. This is Adjuster TV News. And now for the big story. Coronavirus has the U.S. pretty much on lockdown. The economy is closed. However, there are certain essential services that must continue, including logistics, commercial trucking, and the medical industry. We reached out to a few IA firms to get a feel for how things stand right now this week. And first, a statement from Pilot Catastrophe Services Senior Recruiter Andrew Price. We are still deploying both inside and out and continuing to follow the CDC guidelines for an essential business. Pilot has been designated as an essential business under the Department of Homeland Security's Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency as a provider of insurance services and as such, Pilot and his workers are accepted from shelter in place orders being issued by more and more state and local governments. Some deployed adjusters have already been provided with letters from our clients confirming this essential status, which should be carried with them and ready to be presented to authorities if needed. And their current areas of opportunity for daily claims are in California, Sacramento, Los Angeles, and San Francisco, in New York, Manhattan and Long Island, and in these following states, Hawaii, Idaho, Kansas, Maine, Massachusetts, Michigan, Montana, New Mexico, Nevada, Oregon, South Dakota, Utah, Washington, and Wyoming. I asked about PSOD or otherwise known as pilot services on demand and Andrew said, there's not really a shift from cat claims to daily claims as there will still be plenty of cat claims available when storms dictate. However, a number of clients have emphasized a greater need for daily claims, creating opportunities for both inspectors and property adjusters. People interested in those opportunities should apply with pilot sister company, Pilot Services On Demand at www.inspectorsondemand.com. And for auto appraisers, here's Chris Stanley from the Auto IA Show here on Adjuster TV interviewing Ernie Bray from ACD about claim volume. Well, uh, claim volume has been pretty level right now because I think there may have been a backlog of files that haven't been able to be handled. Uh, we don't know where it's going to go. That's the thing. I don't know whether there will be an influx of claims uh, from carriers that are backlogged and they want to use photo estimating. I've seen a huge push toward that now of the alternative methods of inspection. Um, but right now we're seeing a pretty level. But I mean, like I said, it's unknown. I expect if there's less driving going on and there's more of the, uh, you know, uh, quarantines going on, there will be a, a drop in volume. That's just going to happen. That's what we're suspecting, uh, you know, anticipating. But it's, like I said, still very fluid. But I think, in my opinion, a lot of carriers will start to move toward alternative methods of inspection, which still uh, appraisers have the opportunity to still be utilized. And I'll explain that later. Yeah, and that leads right into the next question, which is, well, are insurance carriers saying they're even going to need us as IAs at some point? Or are they just kind of going to go, oh, carte blanche, photos only, and say, who needs a field guy anymore? You know, what are you hearing? Well, I, I still think when this, the dust settles, they're gonna, we're going to go back to some of the traditional methods of field appraising. Of course, that's going to happen. But I think right now, uh, I think there's going to be the opportunity for independent appraisers out there, adjusters, people with the skills to be able to write off photographs. There's going to be that potential opportunity to flex in and doing that in certain areas. So the appraisers can still be utilized, but they're going to have to write off of photos temporarily while we're going through this crisis. You kind of have to take a sort of a philosophical approach to this that we can't control things that go on that are outside our control. But what we can do is we can control what we can do. And as appraisers realize, hey, you got a skill. You can write appraisals. There are companies out there that need that. So don't be afraid to reach out to the vendors that you work for and say, hey, do you need some assistance in photo estimating? There may be an influx. You know, I'm here. Don't be afraid to remind the people that you work for what you can do. So call up the vendors you work for. Say, hey, you know what? If you have photo estimates come in, I'm available. I can do these for you. Um, that is very important because a lot of people are probably in a crisis mode out there at, you know, in, at different companies, and they're just trying to get these claims resolved. So be, you know, go out there, put yourself out there, and let people know what skills you have. And 
while this is going on, we don't know how long it's going to go on, but you know, you got to just be able to realize you got the different skills. Things will, things will go back to normal eventually, but this is an opportunity and you can seize this opportunity to diversify the offerings you have as an IA to the customers that you have. And then here's a statement from Compass Adjusting Services. The Compass management team is committed to servicing our carrier partners and policyholders while keeping the safety of our adjusters as our main priority. Since insurance adjusters are part of the essential critical infrastructure worker definition, we are continuing to have our adjusters operate under their normal business schedule. Compass will be rolling out some training in the coming days to offer some additional tools to aid in our efforts during this time of uncertainty. Compass Adjusting Services has added new large carrier clients with both daily and CAT opportunities for IAs. So sign up on Compass's new roster at connect.compassadjusters.com. So as of this week, insurance adjusters appear to remain an essential service and many IA firms are able to provide documentation for field adjusters to present to authorities if their state or locality is restricting travel. Demand for Matterport's service and hardware is skyrocketing with COVID-19. And as you just heard from ACD's Ernie Bray, right now virtual claims are more essential than ever. Matterport launched a safe sterile scanning service or 4S to cope with demand. And they have onboarded over 200 restoration contractors that can scan in full hazmat suits for insurance carriers and independent adjusting firms unable to service interior claims, complete with 3D walkthrough and Xactimate sketch. For more information about Matterport, go to matterport.com and right now you can save $400 on a brand new Matterport Pro 2 camera. Adjuster TV is not an affiliate with Matterport, but if you were thinking about picking up a new Matterport camera, now is probably a great time. And now here's your IA weather and storm damage report with Adjuster TV weather correspondent, Max Olson. Now reporting, Max Olson. Thanks, Matt. Fortunately, viruses do not control the weather, and we have seen an abundance of severe weather recently, especially in hard-hit Texas. We witnessed this tornado near Pecos, Texas on March 13th. It caused some damage on the north side of town, but thankfully those areas are not very populated. But a couple days later, we were on this tornado near Throckmorton, and the following day after that, another one near Graham, Texas. This one causing some significant damages southwest of town, along with numerous other tornadoes on a string from near Abilene to northwest of Dallas. That same day further west, Lubbock, Texas was hit for the second time this year with hail up to tennis ball size. We still haven't seen a hailstorm that has significantly impacted a populated area, but that could all change with these upcoming patterns. While it's impossible to predict where exactly a hailstorm will strike, when we have the conditions coming over an area numerous times, it's bound to inevitably happen at some point, and it looks like we are going to remain in an active pattern for at least the next week or so, and then some long-range models even say April, going through mid-April is going to be very active. Let's take a look here at the long-range model called the GFS, and we see what we refer to as a troughing pattern, or these dips in the jet stream. These are indicative of low-pressure systems or storm systems, and these tend to bring severe weather this time of year as Gulf moisture gets pulled up towards the Great Plains. It looks like once again we'll see severe weather in the Central Plains that will then extend out into what we refer to as Dixie Alley or areas like Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama. And those were hit earlier today. There was a large tornado in northern Mississippi that caused damage, actually some fairly significant. So we are not seeing a break in the severe weather right now. We haven't seen a major metropolitan area hit since Nashville, and that was mostly tornado again. There wasn't a lot of hail associated with that storm while it was in Nashville. But if these keep coming together over the plains, eventually somewhere is going to get hit. So stay tuned here at Adjuster TV for the latest weather info for adjusters. Back to you, Matt. Thanks, Max. If you've got an announcement or story that you want independent adjusters to know about, get your message in front of more than 16,000 eyeballs every month on Adjuster TV News. Visit adjustertv.com slash news for more information. That's all the news we have tonight. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great evening.